Hello creative people and welcome to my channel. Yes, we are in my car today because um, today I'm filming a very special video. My mom has asked me to make her a baby nest. So she is becoming a grandma uh, and this is her first grandchild. She really wanted to create like a little baby nest because she bought um, she bought this thing where you put the baby and you just like... I will put this there to her place to get her to come to my place and then we're going to film and uh, she will be my little helper today you wonder why I have glasses well it's sunny today and yeah Hello, little bot. Oh my god, wake up, little bot. No. Oh, this is the thing I was talking about. So, she want to make something for that and i have no called idea baby. That's called a dad. A dad, a dad uh, what is, is this called, called? what's this called a dad is called the father that is called the baby crib. baby a crib yes that is a crib thank you my english teacher <laughs> let me kiss you yeah i'm gonna show everybody your little pet okay not gonna do that without me really <laughs> what is her name what is her name? Her name is Ella. She's a little angel. She's a little angel? Yeah. Hi. No, she, she looks very fat. No, she's growing up. <laughs> okay, now she won't get out. <laughs> well, me and mom are gonna go now. Chris? Oh my god. Uh, my little sister is not coming with us because she doesn't want to. So it will be me and mom. I am freezing. It's so cold. One funny thing my sister told me right before I was like going, she was like, "Oh, she like took my my belly fat," and she was like, "Do anybody know you have you are a little fat?" <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it made my day. We are now at my place. Uh, I have just put the setup for my camera and the lightning and everything else and we have already got and bought the fabric we did that uh, earlier this week so I'm just gonna show you a few of the um, fabrics that we decided to go with so these are the fabrics you can choose any other color my mom wanted to create this baby nest the same as this picture here um, so we find, found similar fabric to the picture and we decided to go with the outside of the baby nest, this beautiful velvet grayish um, fabric. Uh, it's a little bit stretch in, stretchy, but not that much. And then we decided for the inner part where the baby will lay, it's this one, which is cotton and this is specifically for like babies and yeah, it's very beautiful for the newborns. And we also went with this beautiful trim that is embroidered. So yeah, we wanted to go with these ones. And my mom wanted to go with a silky, like um, a silky ribbon to create a bow in the end. And we decided to go with white because all of these colors match together. And you have to have also this. Uh, I will put all of the measurements of how much you have to have from each fabric in the description box below. Also, I'll probably do it in the video as well. For the pattern, you are going to create a rectangle that is 75 centimeters long and 60 centimeters thick. If you want bigger, uh, it's your uh, choice but for me 1675 was actually pretty good once you have to create the rectangle you're just going to add 15 centimeters on the sides and as well on the 
opening for the cushion that is going to be around and also two centimeters just to create a little bit like an oval shape on the opening. We have cut the fabric it looks like this you have to sew the sides first that are these ones so I'm gonna sew just a straight line and then I'm gonna flip it inside out so I have the correct sides once I have sewed that I'm gonna go ahead and add this one above it just because this is going to be a loop but before I attach the loop I'm gonna add the um, this beautiful trim with embroidery on it so the first step here is to sew these two together and be aware that the sides are correct so you don't have the wrong sides yeah have so far uh, we actually saw the trim and the loop um, and then this is how it looks the other side so it's just the way we want it also now we're going to sew just a straight line all the way up there there and there so we have like a little pocket where we will place that thing inside and I'm gonna go with three layers maybe four but I think three will be good so yeah and this is how it looks the little mattress i just did three layers of it i actually think it will be better with four but my mom thinks it's enough with three so we're just gonna do this and place it inside of that thing there yeah. So we bought these um, four meters of that and I'm gonna go from that length there, just roll it until I get the thickness that I want and then just place it all around that corner, oh, well, that those corners. So yeah. Okay, this is how it looks so far. We just added the loop or the little silky band through the loop and that was like the most hardest part ever because this is so tight and fluffy and you should have done that step before you fill this one just to yeah also i did a little pillow just because um we had extra fabric and yeah uh we are not done yet because these two are going to be connected together like that and it looks great so far but we are now at the opening here for this part here, uh, you are going to close it with grab this thing. Yes. with this thing. So you're just going to sew it like this. Sew the inner side here, and then you're going to just like grab the other part, just like so. And you have this, and you're going to sew a straight line here, connecting all of the way here gonna leave this opening these openings so you can pull up and pull down the strings uh, you can fold these parts if you want inner just so it looks much better like I did in this one um, and yeah cut the extra trim there and there and just sew all the way this thing and I think that will be the end so this is how the ending is going to be. Uh, that is the last closing that we are going to do. And then you should probably be done. So I'm just gonna go through my sewing machine and sew a straight line all the way there.
that will be the finishing product. I think like my makeup and everything is gone now. And yeah, this took a long time. I didn't actually think that it will take this much time. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful and useful. And um, I am quite satisfied. This is my first time, so I probably know the second time will be much better. But anyways, the first time it looks great. So yeah, I'm quite happy. Whew. Um, now I'm gonna go home to my mom and eat. <laughs> See you till next time. Hey Noah. Hey Noah. <laughs> and I also film how it looks in the crib. <laughs>